Hello everyone, today we're going to build a cantina and not just any cantina, we're going to build the Australian cantina. To start off you're going to need a couple of cans and uh, the cans need to be 3.26 uh, inches wide which is about 83 millimeters. These were dog food cans and as you can see I've already used them uh, for my cantina. This can we're now going to make the driven element uh, for the cantina. This is a female end connector and if you don't know the difference between a male connector and a female connector I suggest you ask your parents. What you then need to do is to go down to your local um, model aircraft shop and you can buy some of these tubes which are either made out of brass or copper I'm not quite sure. And all I need now is a USB cable to go from there to my laptop and I'm ready to roll. Uh, the final thing will be to pop the other can on the end here and then duct tape that around. Okay, we're here at our first test point to see how far we can get with our cantenna. Up there is Mount Dandenong, which is where all our TV transmitters are located. Now, I've already lined uh, my cantenna and just down the bottom here you can see GHO South Melbourne and if I come over here with a little luck you can see that the signal strength is about minus 75 dB which is not brilliant but but usable and what we're going to do is I'm going to just show you the results of a optus speed test that I've just done and there you go um, 978 kilobits per second um, cantina testing and I've come out here to uh, Caribbean Gardens which is a local park and uh, we're about oh, I guess 12 kilometers southwest of Mount Dandenong. Let's see how the cantina performs. And there we are uh, somewhere between minus 83 and minus 85 dB. So with the further distance the signal strength has dropped back a bit but it's probably still usable. We'll uh, connect and see if we can, uh, you know, transfer some data. Well, I've run a, another speed test and I've come up with 1.28 megabits per second.